hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can troubleshoot this issue the bad image from basic to advanced methods and i'm pretty sure if you watch this video till end your issue will be fixed so as you can see here the code guys 0 into c 4 times 0 1 2 f so whatever error code you have the error is bad image so we are going to fix this issue so first of all i should tell you what is the cause of this issue as you can see here the bad image means something went wrong with your windows image and somehow it is corrupted so we have to fix that so let's start without wasting our time so in order to fix the windows bad image we, we need to run few commands here just we need to open the cmd right click on it run it as admin and hit yes option when the prompt opens the first command is this one sfc space forward slash scan now so i have covered these commands in my previous videos but after that we will go ahead with the advanced methods so once this command is executed 100 percent guys you need to go ahead with this command sfc stands for system file checker uh, this scans the windows corruption inside our windows and dism is deployment imaging services management this will restore the windows image okay so once this command is executed it will prompt you some errors or the information once it is 100 percent so you have to ignore that as of now and after that you need to hit this command and this this command will also go to 100 percent you just need to have patience after that now this process is also going to take some time 5 to 10 minutes both the command will take 5 to 10 minutes so you have to wait guys and once this command is executed you need to close this and check back if that fix your issue or not now the sfc command will give you the information like this as i have already done this command and the dism command will also show it has restored your system successfully still not fix your issue we need to move on to the next step in the second step we need to install the redistributable image the latest redistributable image from the windows so on the search bar you need to type for C++ redistributable download and once you search that you will land into the Microsoft first official website on here just you need to scroll down a little bit and here are the links as you can see here this is the 64 bit most of the system are 64 bit at this point of time just go ahead with this option first link and this will help to launch any application or fix any kind of issues once it is launched you need to run it from here click on run So as you can see here 64 bit is done here close this and you can also install the 32 bit one no harm to your computer you can download both of the options here if you have the 32 bit or 64 bit this will work on both pc Okay. Once both exe and redistributable image is installed on your system, uh, you need to restart your system and sfc and the dism command will also repair your windows after the restart. If these steps also fail to troubleshoot your issue guys, let's move on to the next method and that is the advanced method guys. 
basically we will take help of the iso file in order to restore our windows so as you can see here this is the command restore health command is same but we will take the help of the iso file of windows 11 or 10 whichever version you are using that so let me show you how you can use the this dsm command to restore the health of your windows from the iso file latest one So on the search bar you need to type her Windows 11 ISO or if you are using the Windows 10 Windows 10 ISO Just hit this create media creation tool As you can see here Similarly, you can look for the Windows 11. I hope you know this process how to download it. You can look for this option media creation tool this option or you can directly download the Windows 11 ISO file here is the this is I think will be the good option for you just go ahead with the ISO file in Windows 11 and in Windows 10 if you are using go with the option of the media creation tool and you can see here the download button of windows 11 so this process will take some time and there will be no loss to your data let me show you how to use that once it is done you can also run the media creation tool and make the iso file just we need to wait here this process is going to take the internet so make sure you have internet connection enough internet connection you need to accept it you need to select this option hit next from here leave as it is 64 bit hit next and from here select the issue and hit next give the downloaded location name it windows 10 or 11 and save click on save so i have already downloaded all the iso so i'm going to cancel this So as you can see here I have already Windows 11 and 10 ISO file so once you have downloaded them okay you need to double click on that ISO file and click on open and it will be mounted into the new drive as you can see here new drive will be mounted double click on that okay it's launching you need to right click simply open it so once you have mounted the ISO file we need to go to the sources folder and click on filter size and filter from the largest size to small size basically we need to look for dot install dot vim or install dot ESD. There are two extensions of these ISO file. These are the main component. So filter the size and then you will see the latest one, the upper one. Install dot vim in my case. So you need to replace it accordingly. Install dot vim. vim. Uh, let me show you how to do that. just need to copy this okay run the cmd as admin and just need to give the same command space forward slash 
the location of this ISO file you can right click on it and simply copy the path okay this and then this slash backward forward slash my install dot vim in my case okay as you can see here this is the full command guys and if you want to disable the windows update uh, that is not recommended but you can do that with the this switch space forward slash limit access if you don't want to use a windows update but that is not recommended i should we should go ahead with this option install dot vim and hit enter we need to give this source okay and we need to hit enter you just need to give the sources directory g drive d drive or whichever drive you have the similar command you need to give and then the extension file of this install dot vim don't go with this command boot dot vim install dot vim okay and hit enter so this time this process will take help of the iso file in order to restore your windows this will also go to the 100 percent guys and after that i'm pretty sure your issue will be fixed with these commands so once this command is done guys your issue will be fixed if this command also doesn't fix your issue just you need to go to this directory again and you need to run the setup.exe in windows 10 or 11 whatever you have let me run the windows 10 double click on it mount it and double click on this setup.exe the process is same which we have done already with the cmd but somehow if this commands giving you some errors and all so you can hit this setup.exe to use the latest windows And from here guys you need to click on this option which says keep personal files and apps and click on next option make sure you select that option and click on next option your system will be restored and once you click on keep personal files and app your all the data all the files will be remain same on your system you just need to make sure you select that option if you are not able to tick this option so you don't need to follow this step if you are able to keep personal files and app so just go ahead with this option click on next and your system will be restarted and latest windows with all the file corruption will be fixed by this method as well so i hope guys uh, after applying these methods your issue is fixed if your issue is still not fixed that the last option is reset your PC or reinstall the windows. So thank you. Thanks for watching.